I would rather not be the Cabinet Secretary for Education in this country than sit in Jogo House and preside over nonsense and theft of public resources. I would rather not be. So the journey begins, and I won't care what even the unions are saying. We are putting resources in schools. I was in a school two weeks ago, and every child in a secondary school receives a capitation from the ministry, 12,870 per child. It's the same money to every student in Merhill, it's the same money to every student in Gatuanyaga, same money to every student in every secondary school in the country. And I was in a school two weeks ago where, in a class of 45 students, physics class, there's only one textbook. One, how do you expect those children to pass? Yesterday, I was in Nyanza, and I did several schools in Nyanza. I went to a school that has received over 150 million shillings since the economic stimulus package, and I can't see the money. There's one thing that I think as a public servant I have to say very openly and very candidly. We have no shortage of resources in our country. We're the seventh largest funder of education in the globe. Since free primary education started and free day secondary education, we have pumped over 300 billion shillings into the education sector. And we continue to put money in the education sector every day. The shortage we have in our sector is a shortage of honesty and integrity. That is the problem.